Hello and welcome to Lately Social. This is a quick guide to show you how to use some of the features on Lately Social and walk you through setting up your accounts. We are currently on the main dashboard here on Lately Social. The first step you want to do is add your accounts and account manager. As you can see, our Twitter account is already connected. I'm going to show you how to set up your Instagram and Facebook account. Set up your Instagram account. Go ahead and click add account. This window will pop up and this is where you want to type in your Instagram username as well as your Instagram password. Now if the username and password is correct, a lot of times Instagram will want to verify that you are trying to access Instagram through a third party so you'll get a security code sent to your email that you use to sign up with Instagram. So go ahead and check your email that you use to sign up for Instagram. You received our security code, so go ahead and type that in and then click add account. Your account has successfully been added. As far as your Facebook account, this one is a little more straightforward. All you would do is log in with Facebook and if you are already logged in on your browser, it'll automatically pull your information. And then there's a second option here. If uh, the first one isn't pulling your pages that you manage, you might want to try the second option here. This is where you'll enter your Facebook username and your password. Click uh, get access token. The access token will appear here and then you will paste it in a box below when that appears. And just remember, this is your Facebook username, this is not your Facebook email. Since we have our Instagram account set up, let's go ahead and walk through how to post to Instagram. So on this left sidebar, you can see Instagram and posts. So navigate to this Instagram post page. Now to get started with the post, you wanna go ahead and select the Instagram account that you wanna to post to. This gives you the option if you have multiple Instagram accounts. Now we can either import a photo from our file manager and or we could upload a photo from our PC but we have photos already in our file manager to use so I'm going to go ahead and use this one. You also have the options to import photos and videos from your Google Drive and Dropbox accounts. In this box this is where we can add a caption as well as on this right side, we have the ability to add uh, emojis. This get caption button allows us to import captions that we maybe have saved from past posts. And say, if I wanted to save this caption here, I would click this little disk icon, save caption. That way in the future, I can just import any captions. And this is very helpful if you're using lots of hashtags for your, your business or your profile that you're trying to target different people on Instagram. You don't want to keep entering the hashtags over and over again. You could save them and then import them later. We have the advanced option down here. This allows us to add a location. And in this second caption box, this allows you to add the first comment to your post. So a lot of times people do not like to add their hashtags directly to their, um, their caption, but you can add it to the first comment. So this allows you to add the first comment to your post. If you want to post the photo or video right now, you can click post right now. If you'd like to schedule the post for the future, you just click the schedule checkbox and then we can click this calendar right here. This will bring up this calendar and say if I want to schedule for tomorrow, which is March 23rd, 2019, I can continue with that. And keep in mind, this is a 24 hour clock. So if I am scheduling uh, PM, I want to make note of that. It's not going to be, you know, 3 o'clock p.m. It's going to be 1,500 hours, and that will be 3 o'clock p.m. And so I have everything set up here, and I can go ahead and click Schedule Post, and that will schedule the post for tomorrow at 3 o'clock p.m. Now we do have some other options for the Instagram post. This is the Instagram My Story. Um, you can upload photos and videos. Keep in mind that the videos can only be up to 15 seconds and also the dimensions are different than the regular Instagram posts. You know, this is a 9 by 16 dimension, so keep in mind for that. And then this is the same settings after that. And the carousel allows you to upload multiple photos in one post on Instagram. So what you do is just select the photos that you would like to add and then as you can see over here it's multiple 
um, photo post. And, and again, the same settings um, underneath that. Also, on the right, this is the Instagram preview. Now your photo is not going to come out exactly how the preview shows. This preview is a one by one dim uh, dimension. The, f the image or video is going to come out of the original dimensions for the photo. So as you can see, um, you know, this photo looks a little squished on the preview, but this is, this photo actually shows the whole computer. And so it looks squished on the image, but it does not come out like that after you post it to Instagram. Now we are all set with the Instagram post page. Let's head over to the Facebook post. And now these settings are almost identical to the Instagram post page. So this is where your Facebook account or page would show up. You can select your media um, from any of these options here, add a caption, and also you have the ability to schedule the posts. Um, but unlike Instagram, Facebook allows you just to post texts as well as just a link. So you have the option to do that. You don't have to post a photo or video. And that goes for Twitter as well. So we can navigate over to the Twitter post page. And as you can see, these are almost identical options here. You would select your Twitter account and select the options that you want. Import from any of these or this button right here is um, will allow you to directly upload it from your computer and then schedule a post. Now that you know how to post to your social networks, this is the dashboard, the main page here on the user backend. And this just gives you some simple analytics. As you can see at the top here, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. This will just tell you how many posts that you've had successful um, and how many have failed. So you can get an idea of uh, some of the ones that maybe didn't go through. And sometimes there's errors when it comes to connecting to the Instagram, Facebook, uh, or Twitter API. Um, since our service relies heavily off of theirs, sometimes the connection can be interrupted. And on the left sidebar, you can see a schedules page. Now you do have some options on this column here to sort um, some of your posts on the calendar itself. So I wanted to go ahead and show you um, what this calendar looked like is this gives you the ability to edit a post that you have scheduled that hasn't yet been posted to your social media account. So you can go ahead on the calendar and click the post that you want to edit. And then you can click it again. And I'll bring you to this page where um, these are all the pending posts that you have scheduled. And this gives you the ability to uh, edit or delete that post. So if you want to go in and edit the caption or hashtags, things like that, you have the ability to do that. The next on the list is the caption page. Now this is where you will have the ability to add saved captions on your account. Like we talked about before, that way you don't have to keep retyping hashtags or captions that you use over and over again. Under caption, you can see the file manager tab. This is where you'll be able to upload photos and videos as well as import them from your Dropbox. You also have the ability to delete photos from your file manager if you want to free up some space in your file manager and keep track of your storage up here depending on which plan that you have. If you choose to want to upgrade your account because you want a larger maximum file upload size or you need more storage, you can navigate to the choose plan page and select the plan that you would like and you could either subscribe to uh, monthly payments or annually. Annually you get a bit of a discount. You would just enter your credit card, month, year, code and then also the billing zip code submit payment and you would be upgraded to whatever plan that you would like. I hope this brief tutorial helped you with any questions that you may have had about posting to your social media accounts. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to us at support at latelysocial.com. We also have a live chat box on the bottom right hand corner of our pages. Don't hesitate to reach out to us. Thanks.